If you want to support this channel or start seeing more content, please consider subscribing to my Patreon, visiting my website for baiting sales, or checking out any of my social media accounts at Robin C. Lurk. Thank you very much. Links in description. <sighs> Building habits is hard. Catch me never working out even though my non-existent ideal self is so fitness. I know what it's like to idealize spending more time on your creative pursuits, but falling short of those goals? Getting to the point where art is almost second nature has been the process of a lifetime. I still have times where I have creative bursts and creative lulls, but by this point art feels like a pretty reliable part of my, almost, daily life. If you came for the title of this video, then I'm pretty sure you're looking to start building healthy habits for your creative practice. So. Let's dive into my six tips for getting you to start making art again. Tip number one, take the pressure off. If you're struggling to get into a renewed habit of making art or generating ideas, then don't focus on making anything in particular or good at first. Buy a sketchbook and start making marks. Let art be fun. Let your sketchbook be a place to play. Pull out random materials, let one mark inform the next. If the thought randomly pops into your head that you want to draw a heart, draw a heart. Add text, add text. Make wiggly lines, make wiggly lines. Paint over and destroy everything. Paint over and destroy paint everything. Paint over and destroy everything. everything. Even if the idea seems stupid, it popped into your head, so why not try it? At this point, why discriminate against your ideas? Instead, give place to those ideas and movement so that they can inspire more ideas and movement. Take off the expectation that everything you make has to look a certain way in order to be worth making. Even if you don't make something you're obsessed with, this is part of getting yourself rolling. I mean, think about it, what's harder? Refining and improving your habits once you've already started? Or getting yourself to work consistently in the first place? Let silly projects help you idea generate and get excited about art again. Two, be creative whenever. You don't need to be alone, focused, and in just the right environment to generate ideas or create content. Even if you're not in the ideal circumstances to make your main body of work, let creative energy spill out in different ways at different times so you can start to build a mind frame where you're always thinking creatively and looking for creative opportunities. Sitting at the kitchen table, draw on top of the junk mail or newspaper picture in front of you, turn people into goblins or unicorns. Outside with the kids or siblings, collect rocks or leaves and assemble them into a mini earth art project. At a hotel, construct a creative scene out of things you find in the room and photograph it. Make unexpected art. And when you do an artistic act, acknowledge it, take note of it, document it, photograph it, save it. I can't tell you how often I've made things and just disregarded them as nothing, rather than acknowledging them for the creative act that they were. How many ideas did I just throw away thinking they were nonsense and unimportant, rather than a learning and doing exercise that might inform art to come? A lot of getting yourself to work consistently comes in building creative habits and acknowledging those acts. Art can come in a million forms. Why limit your creativity? Build those creative habits where you can until they blossom into more integral parts of your life and become things you can easily prioritize at a higher level. Tip three, take pictures. Make it a habit to bring a camera or a camera phone with you around your house, at school or work, the drive to the grocery store, at the grocery store, when you visit a friend, when you go for a walk, whenever. Every time you think something looks notably interesting, beautiful, bizarre, intriguing, mundane, and sparks your interest, take a picture. Get in the habit of seeking out ideas. Things you could collage together, recreate in a new form, steal ideas, colors, textures, or compositions from. If you build an ongoing library of visual information, then you can dip into it when you get stumped and pull ideas back to your memory. Tip four, stock artists. Start collecting images, inspiration, ideas. Save them to a folder or a Pinterest board in a collection on Instagram. Make a new account on social media platforms where you exclusively go to follow and stock art. Follow accounts that curate a collection of artists for you so you have varied exposure to realism, abstraction, contemporary art, traditional art, digital, illustration. Find inspiration wherever it comes from. Tip five, dig through your art archives. 
Sometimes a blank slate is intimidating and overwhelming. When you aren't sure what you want to make, you can get frozen by the limitlessness of your options. So, inspire yourself. Look back on older pieces. Take a moment to appreciate the work you've made. Recreate an old idea with a new spin, collaborate on top of an old piece, or totally transform it. Take time to remember ideas you've explored before and see what you can learn from yourself. Tip six, get out. Get out. <laughs> I don't just mean outside, I mean out of your routine, out of your same ways of thinking. Find new ways to challenge your brain, give yourself new problems for your brain to solve so that it has to come up with new solutions. Talk to strangers, go on Facebook and find events near you, go to a panel discussion or a comedy show, sign up for a pie baking contest, go on hikes, go to coffee shops, go travel, go for a drive, read a new book, listen to a new podcast, hang out out with someone you haven't seen in years. The thing is, is if you want to change, you can't do things the same way. So try something new and see what you can find to inspire you. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this content, please subscribe. If you think what I make is valuable, and only if you can check out my Patreon or follow me on any of my social media accounts, or you can buy a painting from robinsealark.com. And I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys and have a good weekend. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween. Bye.